Located in the heart of Rome and surrounded by some of the most historical landmarks, lies this hidden corner next to the Basilica of Saints John and Paul. It houses the Congregation of the Passion of Jesus Christ, more commonly known as the Passionists. It was precisely here that their founder, St. Paul of the Cross, lived and spent his last days. The Passionists are now celebrating 300 years of their foundation, three centuries of proclaiming the Passion of Jesus Christ as the ultimate expression of Jesus' love for all humanity and for creation. Pope Francis congratulated the Passionists with a message of encouragement and hope, where he also urged them to help the crucified of our age. We are so blessed that um, uh, the Holy Father has granted us uh, to celebrate a Jubilee year. It was uh, the challenge that the Holy Father put to us, uh, reminding us of our charism in the church. Um, and uh, with great encouragement, challenging us to renew uh, how we are as passionists and how we live out our charism uh, in the church and in the world. So that was uh, what uh, touched us most. The Superior General, Father Joaquim Rigo, also says that the Jubilee year is not a celebration of the congregation's greatness or success. Instead, it is a celebration of God's blessings during these three centuries and the faithfulness of the countless members of the Passionist family. For the Passionist, the present Jubilee is an occasion of spiritual renewal, growth, and revaluation of the charism. As reflected in the theme they have chosen, renewing our mission, gratitude, prophecy, and hope. Due to the current pandemic, celebrations will be held locally in their respective communities. These communities are located worldwide and have around 2,000 members. While, you know, there are celebrations um, probably focused a lot here in Rome, um, our emphasis has been to ask all our communities throughout the world, we are in 63 countries, we've asked all of them to celebrate locally with, the, with their people. The Superior General, Father Joaquim Rigo, explained that all planned celebrations should be aimed at deepening the commitment to keep alive the memory of the Passion of Jesus. At the same time, they are committed to finding new and contemporary ways to promote this memory amidst the world's current challenges. We continue to do works like preaching retreats, uh, uh, preaching uh, days of uh, prayer and recollection, um, uh, doing spiritual direction, and taking on other apostolates like in parishes where we are in constant uh, connection and relationship with people. And uh, of course, our focus is particularly people in need. The Passionists began their Jubilee year last November 22nd with the opening of the Holy Door in the Basilica of Saints John and Paul. It will continue until January 1st, 2022. Precisely on that day, St. Paul of the Cross ended a 40-day retreat and wrote the Rule of the Congregation.